guys it's a lazy saturday afternoon and randomly had this thought of doing haircut by myself after seeing tons of video so let's just get started so my mirror is on this side so don't mind me seeing towards the side okay so first off take a middle partition and pass all your hair to the front so this is my actual hair length so comb your hair nicely and neatly and make a ponytail under your chin so it looks something like this like secure it with a rubber band and yeah so figure out the desired length that you want to cut so for me this was good enough so all you have to do is do a straight cut so it doesn't have to be pinned straight anyways i'll be doing a point cut to feather them up later so at this point it's okay now remove the rubber band and take half section of your hair and secure them up with the clip so that way you know it will be easier to manage so yeah secure them up and comb the rest of the hair now all you have to do is take one section of your hair comb it towards the upward direction like a 90 degree angle and then hold it you know through the fingers and then do a straight cut here so make sure it is straight so that way you'll get a you know layers when you drop it so similarly onto the other side comb it nicely towards the upward direction like a 90 degree angle and hold it through your fingers and do a straight cut here so once you are done now you will have this you know a beautiful small layers so i'm quite happy with how this uh, turned out so uh, now pass the hat to the back and secure it with the ponytail i'll be doing curtain bangs so for this take about two to three inches from front like if you want noticeable bangs then go for three inch otherwise two should be good i'm going with three inch uh, since i need a noticeable change now create a triangle shape i'm taking the eyebrow art in as a reference to make the triangle shape I'll just uh, secure this portion for now we will come back to the bangs later now just take one side of the section again and just comb it towards the upward direction in a 90 angle as i said before and do a straight cut here similarly go to the other side and do the same just comb it to the upward direction like 90 degree angle and do a straight cut and see if both the portions like both the sides are in the same length uh, if at all you need to redo again so here as you could see it is not straight so i'm not happy with this so i'm just doing the same process again so just combing it and just doing a straight cut here to get the length i mean to get the same length if that makes sense yeah so now you can see the both the lengths are like same so i'm good for now so yeah pass the hat to the back and secure it with the clip now we are left with the curtain bangs so for that we just have to comb it straight and, and nicely and do a straight cut here so i'm taking the length like mid of my lip you can feel free to go longer or shorter it's up to you actually and do a straight cut here so you have something like this now again do a center partition and then comb it really nicely and tightly bring it to the cross side that is the other opposite side and do a straight cut here so when you do the straight cut and drop it you have this nice angle so similarly go to the other side and then do the same thing comb nicely bring it to the opposite side and do a straight cut here you can try this with the really wet hair or you know straightened hair so it will give a precise look so once i'm done with the straight cut now take small portions and do the point cut here so just cut into the hair like so go with the slow hand and do little by little here so what it does is that it blends really nice and gives a natural finish so just take your own time and do slow by slow and yeah
now for the finishing part you let down the rest of the hair just uh, you know from where your bang ends go like top to bottom slant and slowly cut through your hair similarly do it on the other side as well and as you could see the other side i'm struggling here to get the correct cut but still you will get used to it like once you practice few more times so that's what i have been doing and you cut through it nicely until you uh, feel like the curtain bangs and the rest of your hair blends in nicely all together that's what we are trying here to achieve a natural blend from the bangs to the rest of your hair and a little bit of framing on your like in your front part once uh, this is done uh, you just bring all your hair like from the back to the front and do the point cut at the ends because we do this in order to give a natural finish to the overall look so you just do a point cut at the end and we are done so here's how it turned out i just love how it feels right now it's pretty good so yeah this is how i styled it hope you guys like my video see you soon in my next bye